Chromatography. Chromatography is based on the Greek word chroma for color. This technique is extensively used to separate mixtures into their components, purify compounds, and also to test the purity of compounds. This is classified into different categories. Two of these are A. Adsorption chromatography and B. Partition chromatography. A. Adsorption chromatography. The main principle is that different compounds are adsorbed on an adsorbent to different degrees. Commonly used adsorbents are silica gel and aluminia. When a mobile phase is allowed to move over a stationary phase adsorbent, the components of the mixture move by varying distances over the stationary phase. The two main types of chromatographic techniques based on the principle of differential adsorption are A. Column chromatography and B. Thin layer chromatography. Column chromatography. Column chromatography involves separation of a mixture over a column of adsorbent, stationary phase, packed in a glass tube. The column is fitted with a stop cock at its lower end. The mixture adsorbed on adsorbent is placed on the top of the adsorbent column packed in a glass tube. An appropriate eluent which is a liquid or mixture of liquids is allowed to flow down the column slowly. Depending upon the degree to which the compounds are adsorbed, complete separation takes place. The most readily adsorbed substances are retained near the top and others come down to various distances in the column. Thin layer chromatography this is separation of substances of a mixture over a thin layer of an adsorbent coated on glass plate. A thin layer, about 0.2 mm thick of an adsorbent, silica gel or aluminia, is spread over a glass plate of suitable size. The plate is known as thin layer chromatography plate or chroma plate. The solution of the mixture to be separated is applied as a small spot about 2 cm above one end of the TLC plate. The glass plate is then placed in a closed jar containing eluent. As the eluent rises up the plate, the components of the mixture move up along with the eluent to different distances depending on the degree of adsorption and separation takes place. The relative adsorption of each component of the mixture is expressed in terms of its retardation factor, that is, RF value. RF stands for distance moved by the substance from baseline. X, by distance moved by the solvent from baseline. Y, detection techniques. 1. The spots of colorless compounds can be detected by putting the plate under ultraviolet light. 2. By placing the plate in a covered jar containing a few crystals of iodine. Spots of compounds which absorb iodine will show up as brown spots. 3. Sometimes an appropriate reagent may also be sprayed on the plate. Example. Amino acids may be detected by spraying the plate with ninhydrin solution. Partition chromatography. This is based on continuous differential partitioning of components of a mixture between stationary and mobile phases. Paper chromatography is a type of partition chromatography. In paper chromatography, a special quality paper known as chromatography paper, is used. Chromatography paper contains water trapped in it, which acts as the stationary phase. A strip of chromatography paper, spotted 
at the base with the solution of the mixture is suspended in a suitable solvent or a mixture of solvents. The solvent rises up the paper by capillary action and flows over the spot. The paper selectively retains different components according to the differing partition in the two phases. The paper strip, so developed, is known as chromatogram.